member's statement, the member for Essex. Thank you very much, Speaker. As you know, member statements are usually used to highlight some of the good things that are happening in our ridings. Unfortunately, again, I have to stand here to use my time to highlight what this Liberal government is doing when it comes to education, and in particular in small rural communities. Harrow High School has been now uh, put on notice that their community will lose the high school in Harrow, the only one, the one that is really uh, a foundation, uh, a pillar of that community. It's being torn apart after 10 years of being put on the chopping block and being under threat through the ministry and through the boards of education. Uh, speaker, I'll read to you, according to the guidelines in the, in the Act, in the Education Act, the Ministry of Education recommends that whatever, wherever possible, schools should only be subject to a pupil accommodation review once in a five-year period unless there are circumstances determined by the school board, such as a significant change in enrollment. There has not been a significant change in, in enrollment at Harrow High. However, that high school has gone through a park review three times in the last five years, not once every five years, three times in the last 10 years, Speaker. They've been under threat. Imagine a community like that. How do you, how do you promote growth when you, you, know, you come into the town and your high school is always under threat of being cut? You've ripped the heart out of that community, and I want to put the government on notice that the members of that community in Essex County are going to fight this decision tooth and nail. They will have me as an advocate, but unless they change the funding formula, which you campaigned on, the one that the, uh, the Tories brought in, you're, you're going to continue to rip the heart out of communities. Do something, do something right, change the funding formula, and maintain those small rural remote schools. Thank, Thank you. you.